this tutorial you will learn how to add background music, change opacity, add blur effect and improve the transition between user controls. We will start by adding background music. For this purpose we will need a media player. So let's create private media player which is inside system Windows Media. Let's call it Media Player. And initialize it. Next, we need to open the file. When our main menu is shown, we need to access our Media Player and its open method. Here we need to path the URI. So, UURI, and here we will set the path to our file that we are going to play. I placed an mp3 file in our debug folder. You can download it from GitHub. So, let's type string format. Now, uh, let's first pass our base directory and then after two slashes our mp3 file name. So its file name is robotboogie.mp3. Now comma. In order to get base directory I just the debug folder. We need to access app domain. Here we access current domain and base directory. Good. Now that we opened this file. Uh, we will also add an event when the media ends to make it uh, loop. So media player, let's access its media ended event and we will add a new event, new event handler called media ended. Let's generate such a method. In our constructor, we need to check whether our music setting is true. If it is, we will play the media player. So settings and access the default property. And our setting is called music, lowercase. And we check if it equals true, because it's a boolean. If it is, we call the play method of our media player. When the playing is ended, media ended is called. We will almost duplicate our code. The only exception is we will position the media player to the start. So media player position equals time span zero. Time span because position is of time span type. Also when we start playing we should end this song. So media player and call the method called stop. Also we need to fix one problem. It refers to transition. The problem is that we call the content property of this user control. Instead of switching the content of this user control, we in fact should switch the content of the window. The window is a parent of this user control. So parent as window dot content equals new user control select pet. Also let's modify the options click event. We will change the opacity to make it semi-transparent. So this opacity equals 0.4. We will add a blur effect to it. So this effect equals new blur effect. Next we create window options and at the same time we will modify two properties. We will set the owner of the options window to be the main window. 
So this parent as window. In addition, we won't show it in test bar. And after it, we show this window. After we have shown it, we need to reset the opacity. So this opacity equals one and this effect equals null. Then we access our main window. So parent as window dot show in taskbar equals true. Also, we will check the music setting. In case we changed it. So bool settings default music equals false. If it is false, we need to stop it. Else we will position it to the start and play it. Also, we will check the window setting in case it changed. So if windowed equals false, we access our main window. So parent as window and we change its window style to be none. So if our game is not windowed, it should not have any window style. Also, we should change the window state to be maximized. If it is windowed, we do vice versa. So window style should be tool window and window state should be maximized as well, just in case. We need to remove our legacy code, so we don't need button creator click and button version click, because we don't have these buttons anymore. Instead, we have button website click. This one should be simple, so we need to access our process. So process.start. Next, we actually it's similar to this one, except we need to access link, its navigate URI and its absolute URI. Let's check how it works. So options, here you see transparency and blur effect at the same time. If we change the window setting, our game became windowed. If we change it again, it's not windowed anymore music music doesn't work for some reason oh i accidentally mistyped the file name so be careful here and yeah here you hear it now it's gone now it's on thanks for watching subscribe to see more tutorials